Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Once again we're joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hi folks. And for this video we're going to be cooking a... Uh, tuna niswa salad which I have to say because Ian doesn't like fish. So we're going to do a, a seared tuna steak with a niswa inspired salad to go with it. And the barbecue we're going to be using for this dish is a Traeger Timberline 850. Right, so we've got the Traeger set up and we, what we've got in here is we've got the skillet preheated and we've also got the cast iron uh, plancher preheated as well. So first thing we need to do is just take some oil and we're going to cook off the garlic a little bit in the skillet. And I'm just going to do this out here so you can see it but put it straight back in the barbecue as well. There we go and you get that sizzle straight away, mix that around pop that back in the barbecue, you get that beautiful um, aroma from the sizzle. That gut. was instant. That was instant. So preheat the skillet for a good 10, 10 15 minutes. Yep. Put it in when you like your Traeger really, and then by the time your Traeger's up to temperature, your skillet's gonna be up to temperature. Um, so that literally, we don't want to burn that. Could you do me a favor and just pop those uh, tomatoes, olives, and capers in? So we have about a handful of cherry tomatoes, a dozen olives, mixed pitted olives, just um, roughly chopped through and also about two tablespoons they wanted to go back in there they're gonna they're not escaping that goes into the skillet back on the barbecue we're gonna give that 30 seconds and come back and see what's going on in there before we add our lemon juice right so we've given those about 30 seconds 45 seconds we're not looking to cook necessarily the tomatoes, we're just looking for them to fall a little bit. Could you do me a favour and just squeeze the, the half a lemon there into the pan? Just get that lemon juice, a little bit of tang in there. It's going to balance the flavours out. And then what we're going to do is add in, that's perfect, and we're going to add in that parsley. Tumble that in. And then we'll pop this back in for another minute or so just to let that heat through and then that is that portion of our dish complete. Right, let's go check our little tomato niçoise mixture. So again, the tomatoes have just softened, just fallen. Not gonna overwork that, just gonna leave that as that is. Can you just um, grab that little sheet of tin foil while I just have a tidy on this side? We'll just leave that to one side with the foil over while we turn our attention to the tuna and the baby gem lettuce. So let's just, uh, could you do me a favor and just um, season with some salt and pepper for me? Is that all right? Just give it a nice little crunch as that seasoning goes on there. I'll grab the pepper grinder and just go in, there we go. And then we'll turn those over and repeat the process. Ooh. A little bit of oil on the fish before we put it onto the grill. And we've got, as well as the, the skillet, we've got a preheated uh, cast iron plancher on there as well. So let's lift that up. Oh, while I'm putting the tuna steaks on, could you just drizzle a little bit of our rapeseed oil onto the baby gems there? So here we go. They're just gonna go straight on. And joining those, we're gonna have our little baby gems as well. So cut surface down. Close the lid. We'll give that tuna, those tuna steaks, maybe a minute. Turn them over. Gets just in, just enough time to get some nice crust on the outside. Nice fresh tuna. Um, just get some crust on the outside. Turn it over. Same time on the second side. Off and ready to portion. Right. Let's have a look at our tuna. Uh, we've got a nice little bit of colour. We can see that coming up the side of the tuna steak. So. Just turn that over, and then we'll turn the uh, little baby gems over as well. There we go, rebuild that. And then again, same amount of time on the second side, so 30, 40 seconds on the first side. Turn that over, we'll do the same again. We just want a nice bit of sear on both sides, and nice, a um, nice dark center in that tuna steak. Okay, let's uh, bring these little guys out. So first off, bring our little baby gem lettuce like so and then grab our tuna and 
Really simple, quick, fresh dish. The lid down, let's keep that heat in for our, our pork chops. Check out the other videos on the YouTube channel for that one. And then, might need the glove for this little guy. A bit hot. A little bit warm. Cast iron pots have an amazing ability to retain, to retain heat. Let's just pop those wedges over there. Okay. Now we're doing this in Christmas jumpers, but this would be an amazing little summery dish. Okay. Uh, but in the middle of winter, nice little burst of colour. Some store covered ingredients with the olives and the capers. And uh, just something nice and light. Maybe over the festive season when you've had your turkey, you've had your ham, you've had your mince pies, you've had your pigs in blankets and everything else, and you just want something nice, light, and refreshing. And I think that serves and delivers by the bucket load. So a little squeeze of lemon juice over the top. Are you going to have a taste as well? No. No. <laughs> do, Ian doesn't do fish. So I'll taste well, on his I'm going to do the outro. There we go, okay. okay. So if you like the uh, recipe for this dish, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk, or visit the team here in store. They'll be able to help you, advise you on the equipment we've used. Um, if you do create the dish, we're across all the social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. um, so all that's left for me and Richard to say is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, folks. And we'll see you again next time. <laughs>